Welcome everyone. Here is how you use the new visual intelligence on your iPhone. So if you have iPhone 16 series and newer, you will have this camera control button. And if you just long press this button, you will see it opens visual intelligence and then we can proceed. You can't do this while you're inside of the camera app as it will just start recording a video. However, if you have iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, we don't have the camera control button. So to open the visual intelligence on these devices, you need to swipe down from the far right hand side of the screen to enter control center. And you tap this new button, which is the visual intelligence button, just like that. However, if you don't have this button, you need to go into control center and just tap on the plus. And then when you tap on the plus, choose add control and just look for the visual intelligence option just like that. So one or two things will happen or three things. The first one is when you enter visual intelligence, everything's good to go. We have a preview of the world around us. The second thing that happens, which you saw there, is I open the visual intelligence and then it says Apple intelligence required. Turn on Apple intelligence to use visual intelligence. If you have this error, I'm going to put the fix for that at the end of the video. So I don't want to interrupt the flow of this video. And if you don't even have this visual intelligence option, I'll cover that at the end as well. If we have the visual intelligence, all we need to do is just snap a picture. So let's snap a picture of this keyboard. And then once you snap that picture, it's going to take it like this. And you can either use the ask feature to ask ChatGPT what this image is, or alternatively, you can go into the search and it's going to show you results from Google just like that. The second way to use visual intelligence is by taking a screenshot. So if I just take a screenshot by click release power and volume up at the same time. So one, two, three, click release. You can see it's going to take the screenshot and then you can just tap the search button or ask right here. Now, sometimes when you take a screenshot, you will notice it has a preview at the bottom. You have to tap on this preview and then there should be a search option right there. But what if you have the errors? Okay. Apple intelligence required on this iPhone. And then on this other iPhone, when I take the screenshot, I just don't have the search option. So visual intelligence is just not on these devices, but we can turn it on. So what we need to do is just go to our home screen and then let's go into our settings. Inside the settings, we're going to scroll all the way down until we see Apple intelligence right here. Now, for some devices, you won't, won't see this option. So if I go settings, you're going to see something instead, which just says Siri. So somewhere here, it says Siri. If it says Siri without Apple intelligence, your iPhone does not support the visual intelligence feature. You're out of luck. But if it does, we'll tap into this one. And we just need to turn on the Apple intelligence. If this toggle doesn't exist, make sure your language, which is English United Kingdom, is the exact same as the region set in your iPhone. So just check whatever it says here, make sure this is correct. Then head into general, look for language and region. And you can see my region is Uzbekistan. So if there's a mismatch, we can't use the feature. So tap on region and just set this to the correct one. So I'll use United Kingdom and I'll change that one like this. If your region doesn't support Apple intelligence, you can just set your region to uh, United States or UK. And then I can head into Apple intelligence, turn this one on. After it's turned on, you'll need to wait about a couple minutes for the files to download. When you do it for the first time, you can see the files will download later. So you might have to check back tomorrow, but uh, once these have downloaded, then you have the visual intelligence and you can watch the earlier part of the video on how to use it. Now, real quick, YouTube are not promoting my videos like they used to. So if you found this video useful, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, this video was useful. Thank you. Or this video helped me out. And if it didn't help you out, leave a comment with your concerns, your issue, and I will try and get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.